Cleburne rolls against Lake Country. Matulovic shuts down the Salt Dogs, and the Monarchs take the opener in Milwaukee. Welcome to the American Association Whoop Around on this Wednesday. Brand new series underway across the league after a league-wide off day on Monday. We've got some awesome matchups, including the top two teams in the league. We'll get to that, but let's start in Cleburne. Dockhounds and Railroaders starting an important series in the East Division. Bottom of the second, tied at one. This would be a big inning for the Railroaders. Mark Caraviotis with an RBI double here, a five-run frame. Later on in the fifth, Jose Cermo puts the cherry on top. A three-run blast out to dead center. His 19th of the season. Cleburne rolls 14-3 to Sioux Falls. Cougars at Sioux Falls Stadium for the first time this season. Bottom of the third, down 3-1. to one. Jabari Henry flips it around. A three-run shot to give the Canaries the 4-3 to three lead in the third. Later on in the sixth, up 7-4. to four. Wyatt Ulrich. Tacks on two more, a two-run single. Sioux Falls takes the opener big, 14-5. To, to Fargo-Moorhead, yet another big matchup in the West between the Explorers and Red Hawks, who've seen a lot of each other as of late. Bottom of the first, Manuel Boskin goes deep for the Red Hawks. Fargo-Moorhead goes up 2 to nothing in the first, but they fail to score the rest of the way. Wilfredo Jimenez gives Sioux City the lead here in the top of the fourth with this RBI double. And later on in the eighth, the Explorers put it out of reach. Vint Fernandez, an RBI single. Sioux City takes the opener 7-2 to two. to Winnipeg. Salt Dogs taking the trip north of the border to take on the Gold Eyes. Bottom of the third, Max Murphy breaks the scoreless tie. An RBI double off the base of the wall in right field. And Joey Matulovic, yet another outstanding start for the right-hander. Seven shutout innings, five hits, three strikeouts as the Gold Eyes take the opener of the series 2-1. to one. To Chicago, first time the Railcats are at impact field this season. And Marco Gonzalez making a big impact. His first week with the Railcats, he hits Gary's first grand slam this season, giving him a 4 to nothing lead. But as they often do, the Dogs storm back and tie the game up at five. Here in the bottom of the sixth, Cody Bohannik ties it up with this two-run single. But the Railcats stay strong in the seventh. They take the lead, and they extend it here thanks to an errant throw from pitcher DJ Snelton. Two runs coming to score. The Railcats win eight to six. Finally, to Milwaukee. Matchup of first-place teams in the East and West divisions. A huge set at Franklin Field, top of the second. Brian O'Grady goes deep to put the Monarchs up two to nothing. This was his first of two home runs on the night, but later in the second, Reggie Pruitt Jr. ties the game up at four runs apiece with this two-run shot. Back and forth game, plenty of homers on both sides, including this big fly from Han Hernandez. A blast out to left center. A three-run shot gives the Monarchs an 8-5 to five lead, but Milwaukee was not out of it. They get within one, and this passed ball brings home Campbellego to score. This great game would require extra innings when the Monarchs would put it out of reach in the 10th. Gavin Collins, the second of three runs here with this RBI double. The Monarchs take the opener 11-8. Here's your final scores from Tuesday night. Again, it was a league-wide off day on Monday, so these are the opening games of each of these sets, which are all three-game series outside of that set in Cleburne. And tonight, we got another full slate of action all in the nighttime, beginning at 6.30 p.m. in both Winnipeg and Chicago, and the final first pitch, of course, 7.06 in Cleburne. You can catch all the great action tonight at aabaseball.tv or get your tickets through the AA Baseball app. I'm Matt Yezo for the American Association, where we play to win.